First, with respect to epistemological naturalism, I want to make two points. First, it's a false theory of knowledge for two reasons. First, it's overly restrictive. There are truths that cannot be proven by natural science, and the success of natural science in discovering truths about the physical world does nothing to show that it's the only source of knowledge and truth. Secondly, it's self-refuting. The statement, natural science is the only source of knowledge, is not itself a scientific statement, and therefore it cannot be true. For these two reasons, epistemological naturalism is a false theory of knowledge that is widely rejected by philosophers. But leave that point aside. The really important point for tonight's debate is the second, that epistemological naturalism does not imply metaphysical naturalism. A case in point would be Willard Quine, the most famous epistemological naturalist of the 20th century. Quine showed himself to be commendably open to the reality of non-physical entities. He wrote, if I saw indirect explanatory benefit in positing possibilia, spirits, a creator, I would joyfully accord them scientific status too, on a par with such avowedly scientific posits as quarks and black holes. And in fact, Quine was as good as his word, for he did posit the existence of immaterial, non-physical objects, namely mathematical objects like sets. Quine's case shows that the epistemological naturalist need not be a metaphysical naturalist. But secondly, my arguments for the existence of God. Many of my arguments do just what Quine said. They show, on the basis of scientific evidence, the explanatory benefit of positing God. And so they are acceptable to the epistemological naturalist. The epistemological naturalist can, and I think should be, a theist. 